Hey there. So I'm running really short on time, which I feel like is basically the story of all of our lives, whether you have children or just a super stressful job. I just think that we don't have a lot of time to get ready these days. So I'm gonna show you a really quick way to curl your hair. Um, you've probably seen my video on how to use the deep waver, but today I'm gonna use my flat iron and I'm gonna show you how to get the same kind of S wave with your flat iron that's so fast. So if you don't have a deep waver, you can get this look with the flat iron. So I've already sprayed my hair with the dry shampoo. So I'm just gonna get right into it. I've also already done the very underneath section. So, all right. Heat protectant everywhere. All right, so what you're gonna do on this one is you're just gonna take your first section and it can be pretty wide because it depends on how wide your flat iron is. And you're just gonna go in horizontally. You're gonna clamp it down and you're gonna wind it and then you're gonna pull it down a little bit and you're gonna flip it up, pull it down a little bit, flip it down, pull it down, flip it up, down. At the end, I just like to do it straight. And you just get a little bit of a bend. You get that wave. So you can do it multiple different ways. If you want a really, really loose one, you're gonna wanna pull it down slower and bend it, pull it down. If you want a lot more, then you're gonna wanna less space in between each crimp. So I'll do it like this, up, down, so less space in between each crimp. And that's gonna give you a lot more of those waves. So I kind of like to do a little bit of both so the hair just doesn't look the same everywhere. down. I also like the very top section to go under so I get that volume right at the top. But you can play with it and do it however you like it for your hair. straight down. So let's see how I got this little wave there. I don't like that. So I'm just gonna take that little piece and I'm just gonna straighten it on the ends a little bit. side and then I'll show you how it looks when it's all finished. All right, I'm back so fast. I'm just going to add my texturing spray. A little of my clay powder. I would say that probably took me five minutes, five to seven minutes. And it looks like I put little or no 
effort in a good way. Okay, hope that helps you get ready faster in the morning. Bye guys.